This is the first survey of its kind. There have been smaller surveys around fewer stars in, in the past, but due to the new instrumentation, we were able now to go to much lower mass stars, which means to stars that are much more similar to our own sun. And now we really scoured whole star forming regions to, to look at many of those disks, which gives us a much better idea how planet formation looks in its very early stages. We have obtained many images of, of these planet forming disks and now the next stage is that we're trying to analyze them. So why do they show certain structures? Why are they showing certain brightness patterns? So we're trying to get to the little dust particles that make up the disk and that eventually form into planets. Part of this observation time was granted to us because I was part of the team that built the instrument for ESO. None of this would have been possible without this, this, this wonderful team of, of incredible people that I, I'm so privileged to work with, especially my collaborators in the Netherlands and in France and in Italy. Being able to observe such a large number of these beautiful objects, yeah, that's, that's, that's just incredible to me. So, so to me, this is one of the, the most important things that I've done so far in my research project.